Were you happy with your results then today? Not, not really, but um, get, getting there. So let's just uh, go through what you got to uh, distinction. It's okay if you say what your um, results were again. Well, I, I, I didn't get what I wanted or what I needed to get into my um, original choices, but um, I've been off to place through clearing, so I'm starting to feel like you know it's not the end of the world. Like I've, I've actually done okay. So. Yes. Would, yeah. would that be your, your advice to future A level students that um, you know you've got you've got clearing? There are other options, and don't you know to don't panic and don't. Yeah, there are options, and everyone I've spoken to today has been so helpful and has made it so easy. And as long as you like keep calm, I know I know it's difficult, but if you just keep calm and and don't try not to go to ah, then yeah. <laughs> having people around you and helps. having people around you yeah. does really help. And were you aware of clearing before picking up your results yeah, today? Yeah. Um, yeah, because it's all on the UCAS website, and you know, college has spoken to us about it. And you just, you just, if you just have a look at it, it's pretty, pretty easy to understand. Really, it's just like reapplying for uni, but with fewer options. So, um, how, how did it work for you personally? So, you opened your envelope, saw your results. What did well, you do next? Well, I logged next? onto UCAS track this morning. Saw I didn't what get time? In. Eight o'clock. Eight, yeah. Got didn't sleep at all last night. Was very stressed. Got into the car, cried the whole way here. Then got my results and just went went to, went to um, see my teachers and just got on the phone to unis and got got myself a place. So yeah, it's it's it's, it's good. So it's like it's okay. Why you know why were you so upset? Just to put it into words. Just because you, you put so much work into it and you know it's 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 two years that you you just put, put, give your all to it and. And you know, you give up weekends, you give up your time, you get stressed, and it, it just it means a lot. Seems like, like yeah, and it, it kind of seems like a bit of a slap in the face, or like you've wasted your time if you don't get what you worked for. So, so what uh, were you hoping for? You know, what what were you hoping for? Uh, another B or I was an A? I hoping for ideally two A's or an A and a B. Um, yeah. But you've still done enough. Uh, are you still happy with what you've done? Yeah. Because that's giving you, you know. Um, you know, when you phoned up UEA on clearing, that's giving you, you know, you, you still got some good results to, to show you, to show for yourself. Yeah, and yeah, so, yeah. And how was the clearing process? Process was it easy? Did you? Um, well, it's, it's, you, you stay on hold for quite quite a while. Like I phoned up a number of unis, and um, you know, you're, you're put on hold. But once you get through, you know, they're just so helpful, and they they want they want to fill their spaces, and they want to give you a space. So they they just they let you in. <laughs> and so, so um, was was UEA? Was that uh, obviously wasn't the first one you called then, was it? Or it wasn't the first one I called. Um, it was about the, the fourth one I called, I think. I've, I've found a few, and their clearing spaces had already been filled, um, or I just couldn't get through to them, so I phoned up other places and tried somewhere else. I listened to what my teacher said and where my teachers thought I should apply. So, and, and you were chasing the same subject, history, were you? Yeah, I was for a while. I considered English Lit um, because I did better in that. But um, I really, really want to do history, so I just stuck to my gut and I got, got myself a place. So. And uh, were you doing that here at the college? At, yeah. At, at that yeah. sixth form here. Yeah. And um, so, how, how, how do you feel now? So you've, you've. It seems that you have got a place at UEA. Yeah. I've, well, I've just obviously got to confirm it this afternoon through clearing. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm fe feeling good. Feeling all right. So you're happy that that clearing option is there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, um, it's good, good, good choice. Good backup. Yeah. yeah. And uh, just find to reflecting your time at Suffolk One. Did you in, enjoy your time I've here? I loved it. it has been, I'd highly recommend it. It's, it's, it's the best, the best place. It's so Meet good. You do. You make really good friends. You do. Yeah. You'll yeah. probably stay in contact. With yeah. Them for a very exactly. Long time. And you meet people who are like-minded, and that just makes the whole experience so much better. So teachers are helpful. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Like get, they get involved and they, they re they're rooting for you, they're, they're gen genuinely, they genuinely want you to do well. Yeah. They, 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 don't, they yeah. don't want you to do well, they're not just like, oh, I hope you do well. And you're treated like an adult as well, which I think makes you, or made me, yeah. want to work better because I had, I had that freedom and you're on the same level and it's a much more grown up experience than staying in school, I think. So, yeah. so uh, Abby, uh, how, did you, how did you find your, your A-levels over the last two years? Extremely hard, yeah. They were, they were much difficult than I expected, especially having it doing the last exam right at the end instead of doing half the course, one year and half the course. Yeah, so a lot's been said about that, <laughs> about the exam at the end of the two years. Were you not... I wasn't were, happy. You weren't in favour of that? No, it's, it doesn't help anybody, really. It just makes it a lot harder and a lot more stuff to remember, especially at the higher... High level that you have to 
know the more information. It's not it's not like GCSE. It's a lot harder. And um, and yeah, so just say uh, how you. Um, so are you happy with your I'm exam really results? I'm happy. Yeah, they were my predicted grades anyway. Um, and so I only got my insurance because I over like went for a higher um, one that I would have should have probably gone for. So it was the course I wanted to do, so it was, it was okay. And how was the general feeling among your friends over the, over the last few days or few weeks? Have people been anxious? Have there been some sleepless nights, especially uh, last night? Or? Yeah, I, I've been anxious. I've been not been sleeping. But yeah, I was quite nervous because it's the rest of your life. You know, you've got to, for some people, it's, you know, it's what, it's what, how would you say? It's like, it's, 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 it's a lot stressful. Yeah. yeah, very stressful, especially... If you're whole, if you're really dedicated to doing uni and stuff, if you've got no other option, mm. which I personally didn't, it's uni or nothing really. So, did you not consider apprenticeships or going straight not to what business? Not I wanted or? to do. There was not really apprenticeships because I want to join, uh, do like uh, law and psychology, that kind of area. And there's not really something you can do with an apprenticeship that will make you go straight for the area that I wanted to do. So there's not really much choice apart from uni for my job prospects. And uh, what, what career do you want to go into after? Uh, hopefully a forensic psychologist that an analyses uh, crime and works in prisons and helps criminals uh, stop from reoffending.